Today, we're going to practice multiplication tables. Multiplication is a very basic skill that we use for many, many other skills in math. So it's really important that you understand your multiplication facts. Our first fact is one times one. Any number times one is going to equal the other number. So in this case, the other number is one. Okay, so like I said, any number times one is going to equal the other number. Any number times one is going to equal that number. So even if you're not sure, if you just look at the other number that isn't one, that will give you your answer. So one times two is two. How about one times six? The other number that isn't one is your product. So one times six is, go ahead and say it, six. How about one times three? Any number times one equals the other number. Now, what if the problem were three times one? Does that matter? Should I still get three as my product? I should, just like in addition, the order doesn't matter. It's still going to equal the same number. So one times three or three times one equals three. One times eight, what would one times eight be? Now, if you need a visual for this sort of thing to understand how we're getting eight as our answer, what we do is we say one tells me how many rows and the eight tells me the number in each row. So this is saying I have one row and I have eight objects in the row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that gives me a total of eight. I have one row and there's eight circles in the row. Next problem says one times four. So one times four equals four. But again, if we need a picture to help understand, now you might not need it for the one times tables, but as you get into higher times tables, this could be helpful. So this is saying, this is how many rows, so I'm putting R for rows, and the, se the second number tells me how many. So this is saying I have one row, and there's four objects in the row. One, two, three, four. Now my picture's not the best. What you want your picture to look like is you want your, your items to be approximately the same size and distance from each other. So my X's are better here my circles. One times one equals one. Good job. One times nine. We know our, our rule that any number times one equals that other number. But again, if I were to use an array, I would have how many rows? one and how many items in the row that's why i'm putting the number sign nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's one row and there's nine objects in the row for a total of nine objects you did a great job with this. Keep up the excellent job.